What's going on guys, I'm Mark Lansanga from Techno Buffalo and iOS 8 Beta 5 was just released yesterday and we're here to show you some of the new features that Beta 5 offers. There's not a whole lot, so this is going to be a quick one, so let's get on with the video. Let's start off at iCloud. Within the settings app, the iCloud icon changed up a bit. Nothing too drastic, but it now has a white background with a blue gradient on the iCloud icons. So nothing too major there. Another thing that's new in this beta is the iCloud Photo Library. When you turn this feature on, you now have the option to either optimize your iPhone storage, meaning it'll keep the optimized versions of your photos onto your iPhone and store the originals in iCloud. If you have the download and keep originals option checked, it means it'll store full resolution photos and videos on your iPhone. So that's definitely a welcoming feature in my eyes. Now, if we head to the Messages app and check out the keyboard, predictive text is always enabled, but you can always hide it by swiping down on it. Now, if you press and hold the little emoji button, you now have a toggle to disable it completely. Before, it used to just say predictive on or off, but now you have a toggle, which I kind of like much better. Last thing we found interesting was that the spotlight animation is super quick. It doesn't have that bouncy effect like the notification center or control center, but overall, it's just really, really quick. With other small tidbits and minor changes, if you're on T-Mobile and you're using the latest beta and you have Wi-Fi calling enabled, you're now gonna see T-Mobile Wi-Fi up at the top instead of just T-Mobile. Another thing that's new, some iOS 8 users that are using Yosemite beta on their Mac are also getting a pop-up to ask them to use their phone numbers for SMS relay on their Macs. This isn't that big of an update for iOS 8, but thought we'd just share some of our thoughts on the latest build. If you haven't watched our beta 4 video, we'll leave a link down below, and we'll also leave a link on how to downgrade. And as always, I'm Mark Lansenga from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching this video and if you guys would like to see more make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.